Hi, this is Lorette with Bridal Extravaganza TV, and today we've got another segment of What Are Brides Thinking? Help me welcome new bride, Casey Schulte. Hi, my name is Casey Andrews, and I married my husband, Greg Andrews, on May 9th, 2015. How did you meet your husband? My husband is my best friend's cousin, and we probably met when I was about 15 years old, and he got a major crush on me. And then later, when my cousin got, uh, when his cousin got married at her wedding, he pursued me and tried to steal me away. So he was successful at stealing me away from my current boyfriend at her wedding six years later. <laughs> um, what was the first thing you did when planning your wedding? First thing I did was look at a whole bunch of pictures and try to figure out, get an overall feel of what I wanted to have and then looked at venues that kind of matched that because I knew that the good venues get snatched up really quick. So so where did you get married? The Carriage House. It's in Conroe, Texas. Cool. So, um, how did you pick that? I picked the Carriage House. Um, it had a lot of the feels of venues that are offered in Austin and Houston doesn't have a lot of those um, type of venues. So it's more laid back, rustic where you can kind of make it your own feel and it wasn't super far away from the city. So that's how I chose it. Oh, that's a cool location. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, how far in advance did you book the carriage house? About a year in advance. So was the, right when we got engaged the next week, I was looking at venues. How many guests did you invite to the wedding? About 300. Okay, did you have to narrow down the list at all? No, well, my husband's from Ohio, so when you have a lot of people coming from out of state, you can kind of expect a lower percent attendance. Um, so I delegated his family and my family to choose uh, their list of people, and then from that, we just kind of gathered a main list. Yeah, that's a good idea to like think mm -hmm. of it that way. Um, did you have a set budget in mind prior to planning the wedding? Yes. Okay, and did you stay on the budget? No. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you have budgeting tips for brides out there? The, at first I didn't try to budget, I just kind of went with it and then things start to add up and you realize how important a budget is. And so looking at percents of what you are expected to pay, so if you have an idea of a figure in mind, if you know the percent for your venue and your food, um, is really about half your budget that kind of helps you gauge everything else so um, just knowing overall percents where you want to give and take to stay within your budget mark. Perfect. Um, how did you choose your vendors? A lot were from Bridal Extravaganza so that was really nice because you can go through and see all these different vendors whereas a feel from the internet you really can't get, especially things that are so personal. So a vi videographer, photographer, a florist to really capture your vision. The extravaganza is a good spot to really talk to those people real quickly all in one shot and get a get a great idea of where you're going with that. That's good. Um, what criteria did you have in mind when looking into booking a vendor? I really wanted the vendor to match my overall vision. So um, if they captured that and can reiterate it back to me, then I knew that they would get it on the day of the wedding. Whereas, um, you know, if they didn't capture that right away, you kind of you knew that that might not be the, the, a good fit. Yeah, that makes sense. How closely did you work with the vendors throughout the process? I uh, hands-on, uh, very close. That was Perfect. the main contact. Good. Did you hire a wedding planner? I had a day of coordinator, so I didn't have a wedding planner throughout the process. The day of coordinator was really helpful though. Okay. Um, if there was one thing you could have done different when planning your wedding, what would it have been? Delegate. So a lot of things when you have a vision and you want to make sure that it's executed correctly, you need to use your bridesmaids, you need to use your family to help you so you don't get crunched down in the little things that other people could really help you with. And um, what is the biggest piece of advice for brides going through the wedding planning process? Biggest piece of advice is probably to have lists and to stick to your list and to have goals set for each week or each month so that nothing piles up and you don't get overwhelmed by the whole process. You want to enjoy the process. So having a good wedding planner and knowing what you um, are going to accomplish each month keeps you on track and keeps you just enjoying the process. Cool. Um, um, my most unique thing is I had a s'mores wedding cake. 
Ooh. So that was, um, we had that made out of meringue and I, cause I'm obsessed with s'mores and I didn't want to do a traditional white wedding cake. So a s'mores wedding cake was kind of the neat thing that we did. Um, and then we also did uh, cor our cornhole, you know what that is? We built cornhole boards and we built giant Jenga blocks for yard games and stuff to kind of bring people together. So that was a lot of fun too. Um, I attended the bridal extravaganza show. It was super helpful in helping me plan my wedding. Casey, thank you so much for sharing those tips. It's so helpful to the other brides out there. And brides, if you'd like to come in and let us know what you're thinking, just log on to our Facebook or our YouTube channel and let us know. Again, this is Lorette Veras with Bridal Extravaganza TV. Mm -hmm.